Hey guys, I'm out again uh, with my LDRC Unimog. And um, really, this is probably my favorite 112 scale ready to run. This thing, it needed no assistance from me just to be awesome. Uh, I added uh, tires that I liked, uh, just cosmetic. The tires that came on it worked perfectly fine. They had really nice uh, um, foams in the tires and everything. They were built nice. I just like these tires better and I had to, of course I had to add my own foams to these and man once I put the foams to these it made them so much better and these are wider than the stock tires I just like them a lot and I added this metal the steel front bumper and all this is metal it's not plastic the whole front bumper the whole brush guard it's all steel all steel <laughs> or, or aluminum I guess and it came with the Mercedes emblem I didn't have to order that it's really cool so basically that's all i did to it i put the tires on it and i put the front bumper on the thing and i did change out the uh the battery to a lipo down in there i changed the plug to a dean's plug and uh that's about it i um, i did add a lipo so that didn't really uh the, didn't really need it it had a, a lithium ion battery that ran about the same as the lipo did i just get a lot longer run time out of the lipo I got it in low gear. I got I got the diffs locked. What's really cool is I can switch it low and high gear. It's got a servo in there, so it's a, it's, it's a manual um, gear system. Uh, I can lock the rear diffs. I can unlock the rear diffs there. I can lock the front diffs or unlock the front diffs. So I can have all unlocked diffs, or I can lock them all, or I can just lock the rear, or I can just lock the front, whatever order I want. It's really awesome. So right now I got all the diffs locked. Got it in low gear. Tell you what, this little guy is a beast. I did add the decals to the side of it, just some decals I had. I thought they would look really good on it. Give it a scale look. Then the gas can and the jack I put in the back and the fire extinguisher there, I just kind of added that just for scale. And the driver, of course. But it's got brake lights, reverse lights, turn signals. And the headlights, they stay on all the time. They're really cool. And this thing, it doesn't have oil shocks. It actually has... Um, ow. Dang on. It has leaf springs. They're very nice. They work well. The only thing I did, I modified them. This little piece right here, I flipped it so it stops right there. When I first got it, that it wouldn't stop right there. That piece would just keep on going up. So it caused uh, too much articulation to where it'll it, it get actually it would scrub and stuff. So with it stopping there, um, it allowed the leaf spring to actually work a little bit more efficiently and better, and it doesn't scrub. So it flexes really nice, it works great. And this thing, it's it's a beast. It's fast on set and high gear too. It's it's a very fun trail truck. I don't want to crawl, I don't crawl with it much. The servo's right underneath of it for the gears. And the servo horn's kind of exposed. I'll show you. Oh the one for the um yeah, right there, that's for the gears. It's just exposed right there a little bit. I guess you can cover it up or just just risk it. But it has dual uh, 370 motors there. Uh, plenty of torque. I mean, just plenty. Look at all the servos it's got on this thing. And I've had this thing. I pre-ordered it. So I got it when it first came out. I got it sometime in February, maybe the 1st of March. And I've drove it every month. I've drove it at least 10 minutes a week, every week. So I got plenty of runtime with it. Sometimes I've sat and drove it for an hour straight. So in knock on wood, everything's all stock on it. Besides the few changes I made, and that's just cosmetic. Like I said, the bumper and the wheels and changing the battery out. It's 
cool because the in the back, just like a Unimog does, the, the sides fold down and the tailgate folds down. And I can leave it down if I want, but I just prefer to leave it up. I just like that look. Let me put it in high gear. There we go. Yeah, there's high gear. It's pretty quick. Put it back in low gear. Lock them diffs back. Check out the video I made on my channel too with this. I put the GoPro right on top of it and I drove my whole course with the GoPro on it. And I used the uh, horizon stabilization, so it just kept it le level. It was really cool, so you can see this little thing working without the screen bouncing all around everywhere. So yeah, if you get a chance, check out the video on my channel. Those dual motors got give it so much torque. All right, guys, I was just shooting out a video, getting this thing out. I haven't had it out for a little while, uh, letting you see it. And hopefully, if you like it, hit that like button for me. If you have any questions or comments on it, hit that comment section. And as always, guys, thanks for everything.